Hi guys, in today's video, I will be showing you how to connect to Postgres database from DPFA. So let's get to it. Okay, so like I mentioned in this video, we will be going through the process of connecting to Postgres database using DPFA tool. Okay, so um, to connect to Postgres database, you obviously do need to have Postgres database installed in your environment. And in the previous video, I went through the process of installing Postgres database in macOS. So if you don't have that installed, definitely do take a look in that video and install Postgres database in your local environment. You obviously also do need DPFA installed. And I also made another video where I went through the process of installing DPFA in your local environment. Okay, so in this video, we are going to go through the process of connecting to Postgre database using dpfa client tool all right so to do that all you have to do is go uh, to this section here where it says new database connection you can click that or go uh, uh, to this section also uh, in the menu here where it says database and click new database connection okay so once you do that then you have the list of databases here that you can connect from dpfa so I'm interested in connecting to PostgreSQL, so I'm going to click this and click next. You can also double click it. And then here now, this is where you enter the information that will allow you to connect to your database. So you do need the host name, you do need the database, and you do need the username and the password. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, put that information. So my Postgre is running. Uh, in my local environment so it's running as uh, the server is local host and the database that i will be connecting to will not be uh, this postgre this one is the one that comes by default but if i can just quickly go back to my pg admin which is the administration tool for postgre that comes by default when you install it so i have gone ahead and created uh, so i have four databases here uh, in my postgre the the one that i want to connect to is this one for D, dvd rental so if you expand this you will see that i have um in my public schema i have a uh, several amount of tables so i have uh, about 15 tables that i have loaded data to and if you want to also do the same thing uh there's a website that i got this data from and i think it is uh, publicly available to everyone so if i go to my chrome I can show you that um, the, 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 the website where I found that data. So this um, website called Postgre Tutorial. So I just went there and um, followed the steps listed here to download this database, uh, Postgre Sample Database. So if you open this, it will show you the steps to install and load this database to your Postgre environment. So I just followed this and loaded the data to, and I'll, I'll put this link in the description so that you can follow it as well if you want to. Uh, but I went ahead and loaded that data to my Postgre database and I loaded it into this uh, schema, sorry, into this database called uh, DVD rental right here. So I do have a number of tables here that I have loaded so i just want to connect to this database so that i can query this data from uh, dpfa so like again i mentioned um dpfa is nothing but a client tool that you can use to query your data it also comes with some other features but if you want to have something like this where you can query your data instead of using pg admin uh, you can use dpfa to connect to your database so let's go ahead and do that uh, again i'm going to connect to the uh, this database here, DVD rental. Okay, so let's go back to our setup now in DPFA. Uh, and our host is localhost. Uh, the port number for Postgre is that one, 5432. I'm going to change the database to DVD rental, like that. Okay, but you can also leave it to Postgre if that's where you have your data. So it doesn't matter. Um, so just put the database that is valid uh take note of this if you don't if you don't put if you don't put anything here the username uh will be used so in this case 
our username will be postgre so it will take postgre as, as well so in this case it's going to work because we do have a database called postgre uh, but i'm going to take a dvd rental as my database and uh the username of course is uh postgre and you have authentication two two, two steps here i'm just going to use data, uh, ne uh, de database native uh but the username will be postgre and the password will be the password that i entered when i was installing postgre so do take a look in that video and of course when you install postgre it's going to ask you to enter the name so this is the user that comes by default when you install postgre and you do need to enter the the password as well during installation process so you can put that password here or if you have another user that you created after installation um, just make sure that the password is a valid password that you use to connect to postgre okay so go ahead and do, and do that put the password of course you have the username here put the password and the rest of this i will leave it as default i'm not going to do anything here. and then just go ahead and hit uh, test connection okay so you can see now that we have additional driver files that we need to install uh this will be able to help us to connect to postgre so these are these are just libraries that dp needs in order to connect to postgre database so just go ahead and do download them okay so this has been downloaded and of course uh, our connection is successful okay so you can see here downloaded those libraries and went ahead and tested our connection so let me just do that again i'm just going to hit test connection and you can see that we are successfully connected okay so we are uh, connected to version 16.4 that is the uh, postgre server that we have and um yeah that is that is pretty much it we are able to connect it so go ahead and click okay and click finish so now here we should be able to see our database and if we browse the database we should be able to see so we have the schemas here and our data should be inside public uh, in tables there we go all right so we are able to see our data here and we can view this data as well okay so we can see the data now here and this is the same data that we have in postgre so if you go here these are our tables we have actor address category so these are the same list of tables that we have in dbfa okay so now we are able to successfully connect to postgre database using a uh, dbfa so you can you can go ahead and you can also rename this so for me i have connected to i have three connections here I have one to my Redshift uh, warehouse, one to my SQL, and of course this one is Postgre, so I'm going to rename this to Postgre. Just so that I know which database uh, I I have, okay? So I'm going to do it like that. So so now, if I want to connect to Redshift, I'll just go to my Redshift. If I'm going to my SQL. So you can see that DPFA actually is a very powerful tool. It You can connect to so many databases um in the same sql client tool i don't think there is a client tool that actually lets you to seamlessly connect uh, as easy as this so definitely do take a look into dp if you are looking into a client tool that you can use to query your databases you know you can you might have one database or you you might have several of them dp is a great tool to use okay and um if you are in production environment there's a pro version of this so maybe you might have to pay the license or some fee in order to use it uh, but i'm using the community edition and it's working just fine for me so just go up here and you will see all of the databases that you can connect to but in this video um that's all i had for you i just wanted to show you guys how to connect to postgre using uh dp all right that's it guys but before I go, please, if you have not subscribed to the channel, uh, definitely do take a second and click the subscribe button so that you can stay updated. All right. Bye, guys.